If you're using playback on an iPhone or iPad and have an X32 console, I wanna show you how to connect your phone to your console uh, and send audio from playback without an audio interface. Let's talk about what we need to make this happen. So the first thing I have is playback running on my iPhone. Again, this could be an iPhone or an iPad. In my case, I'm using my iPhone. I have this adapter, which is lightning to lightning and USB. I believe this is called the camera connection kit. Uh, I'll link to this in the description of the video. And then I have a USB cable. And next to me over to my right shoulder uh, is my Behringer X32 console. This is the X32 rack. I'm gonna take one end of my USB cable, plug it into my X32. I'm gonna take the other end of my cable and I'm gonna plug into this adapter, okay? So let's connect that to our adapter and then let's connect it to our phone running playback. Now, here in a second, the phone uh, should detect it and it should show up. There we go, current audio device. Let's see if we can get this uh, in focus for you so you can see a little better, try to work around that glare. Um, let me show you what I could do over on playback. Super simple. I'm going to go to settings up here. I'm going to click settings and then we're going to go over to buses. Okay. Uh, and with buses, you could see all of my tracks are automatically routed to buses and buses are automatically routed to outputs, uh, on, uh, my interface. So my X32 in this case. So if I click this drop down list here, you could see, I have uh, 32 possible outputs that I could route to what I would suggest by default is just leaving these set to be routed the way they are. Right. So I'm using 10 possible outputs from playback. Uh, you could customize this. You could change it if you want to, uh, but I'm just using these 10 possible outputs. Other thing I should mention, uh, I have a power cable over my shoulder. What I would do technically if I was doing this is I would take this adapter, uh, leave my USB cable connected there and plug the other end of this cable into power to power my device uh, to keep it powered. But for the sake of this, uh, to be able to show this a little easier, I'm going to leave it disconnected. Now I've got X32 edit running on my um, uh, computer here. You could just do this on your X32 console natively as well too. But we want to go to routing. So go to routing up here. Uh, I want to set where I want these uh, inputs from this USB card to show up uh, directly on my console. So you can see we have local, we have AS50, A and B, and then card. Card is what we're looking for here. So we need a block of 10. So I'm going to start on 17 through 24. And instead of using my local inputs here, I'm going to use card one through eight. Okay, because we routed that. And then we're also using card nine through 10. So we're going to make this second block here, 25 through 32, uh, be those inputs. So now I could go into my card, uh, into my console itself and say, okay, let's see, I forgot which block we started with, 17. Okay, so we're going to start with input 17. So then you could go to your, your channel here. Uh, you could rename it if you wanted to. Uh, I would suggest you do that. Uh, if anything is a stereo pair, like drums is, is uh, one and two by default, uh, then we could go and link those channels. So we could go into our channel, do a stereo link here. Uh, to link 17 and 18 because that's a stereo pair, right? Uh, we could rename that if we wanted to. But what's really nice about this is just using that adapter and that USB cable, we can send 10 outputs from playback to our X32 console, which is really, really cool. Now, the downside to this is you have to be close enough to your console to have a USB connection. Do not use a USB extender. Don't try to use a like USB to Ethernet cable to leave your your playback device on stage uh, to then route to front of house. Um, if your uh, audio engineer, uh, you know, front of house audio engineer happens to be running tracks, this is a great setup. If your console happens to be on stage next to you, this is a great setup. But what do you do if you want to keep your phone on stage and you want to send audio the same way we're doing here to your console? I'm going to talk about how to do that next with this. I'm not going to show you what it is, but let's, well, that's it right there. That box, I'm going to show you how to use that box to send um, uh, a lot of channels up to 32, similar to this, uh, to your console using just an ethernet cable. But in order to see that you've got to hit subscribe because I'm going to release that video next week. So uh, make sure you hit subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can see that video when it goes live. And if you're in a scenario when your playback device is far away from your console, you're not going to want to miss that. So hit subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post that video. And I post new content every single day, 10 a.m. Central. Um, so uh, anytime you drop by the channel, there'll be something brand new every single day to check out. And next week is when that tutorial goes live, so you're not going to want to miss it. So I'll see you next week or maybe even tomorrow as we post new content. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye.